Hey guys, what is up and I welcome each and every one of you to a new episode of my journey to challenger and this one we're finally in diamond one diamond one of course zero LP so for this one we'll be climbing up getting our way over to masters and of course once we get masters then things will get even more exciting so as per usual if you guys are ready if you're excited if you're enjoying the episodes and whatnot and you're hyped up for this climb into masters hit that like button you know to show some support and all that good stuff but with all that being said and done let's just get into it and let's just win some games let's go Alright guys, game number one is about to begin. For this one, we're playing Twisted Fate in the mid lane against what looks to be... Uh, Diana. So Diana does have TP. Dianas don't normally take a cleanse, which is actually pretty good because that means if this Kai'Sa jungle, which... Um, it looks like he's first time Kai'Sa jungle, but he said, don't worry, I'm clean. I mean, the last time I've heard that, when I gave Kai'Sa away, it, the guy was not clean at all, so... Alright, we'll see what happens with this Kai'Sa. But either way, playing TF in the mid lane against Diana. Hopefully Kai'Sa camps me. Free kills, free gold card, free stuns. Let's go, boys. Let's do it. What the fuck is going on up there? Wait, how? How is that even possible? How is it possible for an Orn and a Cho'Gath to fight before the minions even spawn and the Orn gets first blood on him? That doesn't make sense. You gotta be trolling. That, 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 that shouldn't happen. Fuck. Oh! <laughs> Fuck off, bro. Wait. Why did he orn all so incredibly late? God, it's, I have to use two summoners to kill that big ass mofo, dude. How the hell did Diana one shot the whoever the fuck it was? I guess he was really low. I don't think we win this. This Ezreal is absolute fucking trash. Like, this guy does I don't know. He's so behind in CS as well. Everything. Eh, whatever. Ezreal's garbage. I mean, he's in a clan tag called Aram. You can't expect someone from... Anything from someone that's in a clan tag called Aram. So it's like, I don't know. Whatever. I'm lucky. Eh, whatever. Nice and quick. Whatever. I'm... Uh... Holy shit. Our, our, our Ezreal doesn't have a brain, unfortunately. So, yeah. I'm lucky, I guess. Oh well. Alright guys, for this game we're playing a Yasuo in the mid lane. Now my Yasuo actually has 100% win rate, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, yeah, apparently my Yasuo is uh, pretty clean. I mean, according to statistics. Now, obviously not the, you know, highest amount of games played in the entire world, but hey, 100%, anything more than one game, 100%, you know what, that's not bad in my books at all. So for this game, we're playing Yasuo mid against Sinjur and trying to maintain that 100% Yasuo win rate. So let's get this party started, boys. Let's go. The only thing to actually watch out for this game is uh, we have literally no other knockups on my team. Literally, nothing. There's no other single knockup on my team. So that's a little bit of a yikes. Yeah. Fuck, that's so lame. I didn't even see her. Where the fuck did she come from? Nidalee's right above me, so I can't really fight the Syndra. I gotta wait till Nidalee decides to leave this area. It's still too risky to fight Syndra right now. I thought my EQ at the beginning was gonna hit her, but it just barely wasn't enough, dude. <laughs> and I needed I needed to land that Q on the Nidalee, and I may have had killed her. I mean, I have PD now, so I'm pretty strong. Alright. Bro, what the fuck is that? Why is there a 
fucking Blitzcrank running around my lane, flashing under my tower, pulling me. Like, hello? What, what is that? Get that bullshit out of here. Thank God this Rangar is actually like pretty good. Because I'm actually getting absolutely cucked this game. This is so lame. This game is so lame for me. Dude, I don't know, man. I, I can't really push mid with having like absolutely no vision up there because they could just rush me down hard. Okay, well, one for one, I guess. They got the Fiora top lane, but you know what? At least we got the Syndra bot lane, so I don't know. It's okay. It's a trade. Kind of sucks that Fiora have to die, though. But whatever. It's not bad. We de we out we hard outscale them, like hard outscale them. But the only issue is that we are fully deep. But at the same time, Yasuo has a lot of penetration. Fiora has true damage. We have Lux, so she'll do a lot of AP damage. So maybe it maybe it'll be okay. I'm telling you, man, the Syndra is like, honestly, not even very good. Like, he really isn't. Like, not not even shit talking. He's just straight up getting babysat the whole time. But I got a shit ton of gold. That kill just gave me my straight IE, so that's really good for me. Man, we can't just sneak a Baron, can we? I don't think we have the damage to sneak a Baron. I mean, if they get this, it's honestly not the worst thing in the entire world, but it does kind of suck regardless. That's right. I feel like if we team fight, that might be better for us overall, though. I just wish we had better synergy with our comp. Oh damn, that's a lot of damage. If Lux gets one Q, they're all fucked. Dead. That is unfortunate, dude. The Fiora can clean this up, no? Oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, Fiora still has ult. Fiora still has ult. Fiora still has her ult. Ult someone, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go! Wait, does she have flash? She has flash. She has of course she has flash. Why is that even a question? Of course they always have flash. Always. In those situations, flash is always up. You just have to, it just, it just, it really is. There's nothing you can do about that. It just always is up. Super annoying. <laughs> I mean, we got a shutdown. I think that's pretty worth. The Fiora's almost up. Oh, they're backing right now, bitch. Yeah, I don't know about that flash into them. Yikes, that's a little bit of a questionable one for sure. Jesus, what the hell? He probably thought that Syndra was by herself for whatever reason in their backing, but she definitely wasn't, that's, that's for sure. <coughs> well, uh, unlucky, I guess. Syndra just got a free ride. Oh well, that happens. All right, guys, next game is about to begin. We're still 0 P. I mean, you know, we got some you know games we can lose without you know having to worry too, too much. But with this one, we're going to have to start winning. You know, I mean, TF in the mid lane against uh, what looks to be Talia. Didn't want to have a fully D comp, even though I probably actually could have just went Zed. Because I actually thought I was facing Vladimir, first of all. And second of all, I um, didn't... I mean, yeah, we have the Sejuani and Kai'Sa. I guess I could have probably just won Zed anyways. They don't really have a true tank. So now I kind of regret it. But you know what? It's all good. I thought this guy was gonna go Shaco because he's a Shaco player, but he also plays Sejuani, but he main Shaco, so I, I just assume he'll go Shaco, but he didn't, so got a little bit debated there, but that's okay. Let's win this game, boys. Let's go. I like to win, I like to win. Nice, boys. The Sejuani is clean, man. Clean Sejuani. I like it. I got you, boys. I got you, boys. Don't worry. I got you, boys. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry, man. I'll TP down and I'll, I'll get you. Easy. I mean, that's really good. This game is probably GG at this point. As long as we don't completely mess it up, this game is GG. Like, <laughs> I 
That's why I love TF, man. TF with such Shijuani or something is so spicy because this, the amount of like pretty easy CC that you have is is, is actually like disgusting. So I don't want to back that. Actually, I need I need this fight. This is like better jungle wins right here for sure. Hundred percent better jungle wins. Thanks, Sue. I don't know about that. Oh, that's so. OP. Wait, he, wait. Oh, wait. He didn't even use his ultimate when we killed Italia. Dude, this is. I'm telling you, man. Th this is just getting the better jungle on your team. Like I said, you get the better jungle on your team, the game is just so much easier. If Camille jungle ever falls behind, like it's pretty much GG. And she's so far behind now that like this game is probably over. Interesting. Interesting. Alright, well the Vladimir still he's inting. <laughs> Dude, oh man. Just high quality games of League of Legends over here, boys and girls. Just the highest of quality only. Nothing, nothing else. Nothing else here other than the highest of quality. I want to run up there. I want to help him out. This Riven is just two v no one v one v two. Okay, that's not too bad. Shrock is on her way though. Just a bit more, baby. Just a bit more. Oh man, nice try. Is this worth? This is worth, isn't it? One more attack. <laughs> I think he's still dead though. <laughs> give me that kill. Give me, give me. All right, whatever. Just, let's just push me in. Uh, go ahead and open this game. Or finish this game off, rather. Man, I wish this happened in my Yasuo game. It would have been so good. Having my Yasuo pop off, maintain that 100% win rate. Now I can't use that clickbait anymore. Unlucky. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh man, what a game, seriously, what, just what a game, it's, oh what a game, GG, I guess. I guess it's a GG, I mean it really isn't, this game, well she still died, I'm lucky, rip, rip the Camille's KDA, whatever, I mean, hey, you know what, a win is a win, I'll, I'll take it man, I'll take it, at this point in the game, I'll take it, whatever. Alright guys, next game is about to begin for this one, wait a minute, there's graves here, for this one we're playing Zed in the mid lane, uh, yeah, let's see what happens here, I guess, what the fuck is going on? Oh my god. Boys, boys, boys. Dude, what is that? What does that start? What does that invade? What does that lose? What is everything? What is life? Hell out of here. Girl, I knew you were gonna do that. Knew it. Too predictable, too predictable. The hell out of here. Now I just back right here, and it's perfect. It should slowly push into me, I think. Here's his top side, okay. I'm gonna push this in. Damn, the Riven's getting absolutely fucking shit on right now. This is really unfortunate for her. I have to somehow try to snowball on this LeBlanc. Nice ball in and got a kill. Nice ball in is actually winning overall too, which is good. So our only issue right now is gonna be the Fiora and maybe the Graves as well. Because the Riven is just straight up behind. But if the Riven could just get a kill or something just to get back into the game, it's gonna be really fucking good. I actually th can think the, uh, the Kenneth support is pretty spicy. Nice. Let's just Nice. Pretty solid TP by the Rivet. She's not really doing a whole lot of top end right at the moment because she's just losing it. But she has a nice TP into the ball lane. Gets a little bit of an assist. Gets some gold for herself. And also helps our ball lane dumpster them even further, which is really good. The LeBlanc didn't react to that at all. This guy might be tilted or I don't know what, but he just simply did not react to that for some reason. He has no mana. Wait, he's strong as hell. Holy fuck. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I thought he was dead for sure. This guy was just going for the kill, man. He would not go down without a fight. I, I, I played that super disrespectfully though, so I deserve to die there, honestly. I'm hoping Fiora is not just, for whatever reason, casually walking bot lane so I can just go ahead and get this. Wait, what the fuck is going on, dude? I mean, Bombay's pushing in at least. Dude, all I want is to get this fucking. Oh god, if, if, if that if that server gets her IE, man, this is gonna be pretty difficult. Oh my god, no. 
Stop throwing, please. Fucking shit, I fucking hate League of Legends. Alright guys, and probably the final game of this episode is about to begin. We finally have our one trick Ezreal, so I'm happy about that one, you know. I mean, I'm pretty much an Ezreal one trick at this point in the game. But, uh, yeah, so I don't want to end off at... I demoted... Uh, not demoted, I, I, I lost LP to, to where I got down to 2 LP after the previous game. So I'm at 2 LP at the moment, and I don't really want to end off there. I want to win, you know, maybe one more. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and just get that W and, uh, yeah, get to a little bit of a better spot with LP. What? Oh my! Somebody kill me! This guy says, uh, looking a little fed. Thank God for that. Yeah, if we keep pushing, the Asu's gonna flank us. The Kai'Sa is really, really low. Fuck yeah, this Kai'Sa did it. I don't know if that's Tarzan or not, but fuck yeah, he's carrying. Let's go. This guy's is so fucking strong, holy fuck. Holy fuck, this Kai'Sa is so fucking strong, my god. Thank God for this Kai'Sa, dude. Thank fucking God for this Kai'Sa. I love you so much. What a legend, dude. Yeah, I think that is Tarzan. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's Tarzan. He just said my name, so I'm assuming that's him. Damn, he fucking hard carried that shit. Woo! Oh, thank God. Fuck. Oh, thank God, Tarzan. Thanks for that carry, dude. My God, he deserves the fucking honor on that one for sure. Hell yeah. All right, guys. Well, that apparently is going to be the end of this episode. There we have it. We're at 18 LP in Diamond 1. A little bit of a rough one. I honestly played pretty poorly for the majority of this episode. I really do think. I honestly haven't ate since lunch, and it's 10 p.m., so not, that might part, be part of it. Uh, probably go. I have to get some food. Uh, and just, I don't know. I didn't really feel super in the zone, but whenever I play when I'm hungry, it, I never play well, so that definitely was a big factor into that, uh, I guess, whole problem. But either way, guys, if you enjoyed the episode, regardless, hit that like button. We are up 18 LP, regardless, which is not bad at all. You know, it's not, you know, it's, you know step by step, step by step. But yeah, thank you all for watching, and hopefully I will see you for the next one, and for better games, hopefully as well, and hopefully I will play better as well too. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace, peace.